story you'll see only on five on your side. A rideshare driver is speaking out just days after he and one of his customers were held at gunpoint in Kirkwood. Five on your side's Brent Solomon is live at Kirkwood Police Headquarters with what he's learning. Brent? And 10 years as a driver and the man who asked we not identify him says he's never had a scare like this before. He had just picked up one customer. He had arrived at the next customer's home and then this happened. It was just before four in the morning Wednesday here on Hartman Court in Kirkwood. All of a sudden. Some headlights popped up behind me. A rideshare driver had just arrived at his next customer's home. I just heard bang, 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 somebody banging on my window. Another person pointing a gun at one of the customers in the car, both of them wearing masks. And the guy is telling me to get out the car, get out the car. That's when the other woman he went to pick up came out of her home. Her garage door opens. She doesn't know what's going on. She's just coming out to get in my car. The bad guys took off in the car they pulled up in. They don't want anybody witnessing the act because somebody may actually see the vehicle that he drove up in, and if they're smart enough, they may catch a plate. Personal safety expert Michael Barberi has seen this happen before. Recently, he's seen it more often with rideshare drivers. Now, instead of robbing them, they're stealing their vehicle. They're not out joyriding. They're out looking for a quick shop or a gasoline station or something else to rob or an individual to rob. His advice, unless you're trained to put up a fight, don't. Why lose your life over a car? I mean, you can replace everything except your life. If that young lady wouldn't have opened up her garage door, there's no telling what would have happened. Fortunately, no one was hurt here. That driver a bit shaken up. He returned to work the next day. He told me he has to. He has to make a living. Police here now looking into the bad guy's car in connection with other crimes they've seen in the area. Live in Kirkwood, Brent Solomon, five on your side.